Hello there! Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the trick and the easiest way on how to grab the square root function. And I hope that after watching this video, you will feel that you're like a pro in grabbing the square root function. Let us first grab the parent of all square root functions, which is f of x equals the square root of x. First thing first, find the coordinate of the point of origin. To find h, okay, just equate the radicand to 0. So this is x equals 0. Therefore, our first coordinate is, is 0. And since there is no constant number outside the radical, therefore, k is also 0. Therefore, the point of origin is 0, 0. After having the point of origin, plot it in the coordinate plane. And then use 135 to locate other points contained by the graph of the square root function. Okay? One, go up one, and then run one. And then go up one, and then count three. One, two, three. And then Go up another one unit, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, so that is the graph of this function. Let us have another example. This time, the value of A is negative. If you have noticed, the value of A in our first example is positive 1. There is 1 there. Okay? So there is negative 1 in our second example. Okay. The graph of this function is similar to this function. Only this is a reflection of this graph with respect to the x axis. So let us grab. Again, what is our point of origin? Okay, so this is zero and because it has no constant number outside the radical, therefore the second coordinate is also zero. So to grab that, okay, we go down one unit and then run one unit. Go down one unit and count three. One, two, three. Then go down one unit and then count five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is now the graph. Okay. Of this function. Let us have another example. Okay. The graph of this square root function is the same as the graph of our parent square root function. The only difference is that the graph of this function is shifted to the left or the point of origin of this function is shifted three units to the left. Let us see. Find the point of origin. Okay. To find h, to find h, we equate the radical to zero. Okay. And so therefore our x is negative three. And since there is no constant number outside the radical, therefore. The second coordinate is zero. 
and then we will plot this point of origin. Okay, it is here. Okay, the same thing that we did in our first example, we will just count 1, 3, 5. This is now the graph of f of x equals the square root of positive 3. Okay. So easy. Let us have another example. Okay. Find first the point of origin. Okay. To find the first coordinate, just equate the, the radicand to 0. And solve for x. Therefore, our first coordinate is 2. And the second coordinate of this point of origin is simply the constant term which is outside the radical. And that is 4. Let us now plot the point of origin. So that is 2, 4. So this is the point of origin. Let us find another point by using the magic number 135 so go up one unit and then move one or run one okay go up one unit and count three one two three go one unit and then count five one two three four five so there is and then let us connect all the points to show the graph of this square root function. Again, the graph of this function is the same as the graph of this function. Only it is shifted two units to the right and four units above the x-axis. So I, I hope you find graphing the square root function so easy as I have mentioned before. I hope you like this video. Uh, okay, thank you very much.